look at number two here. It's asking us which of the following aqueous solutions has the highest boiling point. So um, the key, so it says, uh, hi, I'm looking for the high, high, highest boiling point here. And it says here, A is zero, zero point, and then something WMKCL. D is A and B. Okay, so I think the formatting is weird here. So I'm going to write this in order here. So it says here, I don't, 0 point something. Oh, it's probably 0 0.2. I'm, I think if I try to write 0 0.2 KCL. B would be 0 0.2 molars of, uh, this is sodium sulfate. C would be 0 0.2 molars of, this is calcium nitrate. Uh, D here is A and B. And E here is B and C. Okay, so it's asking us which of the following aqueous solutions has the highest boiling point here. So when we talk about highest boiling point, all, we're looking at all of the properties of these guys here, right? So potassium chloride, sodium sulfate, and calcium nitrate, they're all ionic compounds, which means they have very, very high boiling points here. So let me let me just write this out here. So these are all ionic compounds. which means we don't, well, the only intermolecular forces we have here are the ionic properties here. So we only care about the ionic properties. We don't care about, there's no hydrogen bonding, there's no dipole moments, et cetera here. So if, if we only care about the um, the ionic properties here. So therefore we talk, uh, so when we talk about ionic compounds and how it affects boiling point, we talk about how many molecules are, um, are actually in the compound here because they're all in the same solution, same concentrations here. We can actually ignore this and we can actually just specifically look at the compounds here. So as you can see, our, potassium chloride here is made up of two atoms, right? It's made up of um, potassium and chlorine here. So I can say this is made up of two atoms here. Sodium, as you can see, I have two sodium ions, so two here, and then I have a sulfur, and then I have four oxygens here, right? So this here would have, um, I would have, it's a much bigger molecule, um, you could say, because I have more compounds here. And same with calcium here, I have one calcium, I have two nitrogens and six oxygens here. So in this case, when we talk about boiling points here, I would have to say that um, uh, potassium chloride would have a lower boiling point than um, sodium sulfate and calcium nitrate, just simply due to size, right? So as you can see, they also wrote here as well. Right? In the given solutions, they have the same concentrations, but number of particles are different, right? And boiling point is elevated by increasing the number of particles here. So as you can see, uh, potassium chloride, as again, has the lowest boiling point, so this would be our wrong answer which means D would be also wrong here. And sodium sulfate and calcium nitrate, they're very similar in size, right? As you can see, sodium has three ions here. You have Na plus and SO4 minus, or you have two, you have two Na pluses and one, uh, one uh, SO4 minus. And for this one here, you have one Ca plus and two NO3 minuses, right? So in this case, you have three ions here and three ions here. Therefore, B and C are, are both about the same boiling point here. So they have almost the same boiling point, you can say, which means that E is the correct answer. So the solution here is correct um, based off basically size of the ions and number of ions here. So solution is correct. Good analysis here.